Mob abducts woman after she rejects marriage proposal in India. This is so crazy. On December 9th, a violent mob in India armed with sticks and iron rods attacked vehicles and people before abducting a woman in broad daylight. A video of this incident went viral online. On December 11th, the Tele Telangana State Police detained 31 people related to the abduction. However, at the time of the reporting, the instigator of the mob attack, um, Kodudula Navin Reddy, is still on the run. The victim was rescued by the police on the day of the abduction. According to the victim and her family, Reddy had been stalking her for months before the abduction. Reddy had proposed to the woman to get married, which she had refused. After being refused, Reddy decided to abduct her using a mob attack before she couldn't get engaged to another man. The victim was physically abused and threatened by Reddy during the duration of her kidnapping. Recently, abduction of women has become a prevalent issue in India. Official data records show that almost 77,000 women were kidnapped in 2020, and almost 30,000 of which were taken away to compel her for marriage. So in 2020 alone, 28,222 women were abducted to be compelled into marriage. So this story is so wild. So they met, I believe, at like um, a school function or something, or uh, they, they met at some event and this man tried to approach her, da, 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 and proposed marriage to her and she rejected and then what he did is he owns several private businesses and he's kind of like a local tea baron. He has little tea shops that he'll set up everywhere. And then what he did is he set up a little tea cart, tea selling cart outside of her home so that he could spy on her. And then when the opportunity was right, she, he abducted her with the help of like 31 people before she could get engaged to a different dude. And then when the authorities went after him about this, he said that what happened was that he had already married this woman and that he was trying to prevent her from being forced into a different marriage with someone else. And she's like completely denied all of this. She says, I've never signed any marriage papers. This man threatened me. He threatened my family. I mean, clearly, I mean, he kidnapped her, like beat her in the face while he was doing, he was threatening her family. And now she's asking for police protection and all this stuff. I mean, luckily she's been, you know, um, rescued and brought back. But I mean, it's wild. What was the long-term plan here? Like, what was this guy imagining? Like, I'm going to abduct her. I'm going to take him home. And then we're going to live happily ever after. <laughs> like, how is that going to work? Like, I don't understand. Like, did he not see that? Okay, well, this is not going to work. The police is going to show up. <laughs> like, I don't know. Not very smart. I don't not know. A smart like, plan. Yeah, I, it's, it's, um, it's, it's wild to me. So, in some cultures, they actually continue to have a culture of bride kidnapping. So did he? Did he? Did, did he try DMing her about bobs and vagines? <laughs> I heard that works. Oh my god! No. Um. So I know the situation is is probably very different in India, but there are I can't remember if it's um, Kazakhstan or Kyrgyzstan. Um, but in certain, in one of these countries, there are certain areas where they still practice bride kidnapping to this day. And this is one of the most extreme forms of honor culture I have ever heard of. They practice bride kidnapping because they think that if a woman goes with a man willingly to get married, essentially she's a whore. Like, I think that might be... What the peak, hell? I think that might be peak toxic honor culture. Like, you can't even have a willing marriage. Like, people across the world have, like, different... Wait, you're married to her, and if you go to your husband... Done. Wait, you're married to him, and if you go to your husband's house willingly, you're a whore? <laughs> you're like, what? They still do bride kidnapping. Like, legit. So your husband I don't know has to I... come... Your husband has to come steal you so that you show that you have honor? Like, no. I'm still... <laughs> 
Yeah, you should still be refusing him. Can you believe that? So they're just normalizing mob violence. They're like, this is now our culture. This is a... Not only do we not look down upon this, we are effectively making this a virtue for you to have to... For you to have to get a mob to come kidnap a woman, we're turning that into a virtue. Amazing. Good job, India. Wow. It's so wild. But okay, to be fair, that is, I don't know, fair is not the correct word I'm looking for. But that example that I gave is like a totally different part of the world, right? But I just wanted to give it as an example of like how extreme this form of honor culture can get. So I don't know if we can explicitly say that this incident that happened was because of religion you know in india they refer to this as jilted lover syndrome um which i don't like because that kind of like like infantilizes the person that engages in a behavior that's that's this toxic like oh it's a syndrome it's like they're sick or something it's like no they're violent like um uh so yeah obviously this is more driven by honor culture based on the reporting of the story that i've seen it's not explicitly religious but i still wanted to talk about this because this was really shocking the videos of it it's just like oh yeah no we're just doing this straight up in public I, I, it doesn't look like you can, I can play the video because there's a man with a stick hitting somebody. So I don't think YouTube is going to be happy. Yeah, that. he's hitting a woman. Okay, yeah, I can't show that on YouTube. So yeah, we go. we're going to play that. Um, what about this? Uh, Su- Higgs Boson is saying Susie groom kidnappings happen too. Where? <laughs> we should find that because there was. Yeah. Uh, something I don't remember is saying, yeah, I am too aware of the groom kidnapping. Where does this happen? Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, this is amazing. is saying in Bihar, India. In Bihar. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going to go look this up. Oh, uh, Bihar. They're saying it happens in, in Bihar. Wow. In, everybody's saying Bihar, Bihar, Bihar. Wow. Why would you... <laughs> This is this. Is, oh my god! This is real life, guys. This is I just real want life. to address something really quickly. Rashid is saying this is religious. They wouldn't do this if there were atheists. I know a lot of atheist people from various cultures and countries that still carry a lot of honor culture in them, even after they leave religion. I mean, I mean, these two typically th- less, <laughs> but I still notice it. I mean, these are not. You should, okay, something can be religious even if atheists do it, okay? A, a good example of that is circumcision, right? Mm. A lot of atheists still circumcise, but circumcision is comes to us from religion. So something could... Yeah, I do agree that this honor culture comes from religion even if non-religious people do it, right? Because you still have that carryover of the effects of religion. Um, so I do agree with Rashid that it's religious, but I don't agree with the second parts that um, they wouldn't do it if they were atheists, because mm-hmm. a lot of atheists still have a lot of things, beliefs that comes to, comes to us because of religion. Yeah. Um, also, if I miscorrectly remembered where, um, or incorrectly, incorrectly remembered where the bride kidnapping that I was talking about happened. Um, my apologies. I, I believe it's Kyrgyzstan or Kazakhstan, but I could be wrong. So just disclaimer. Mm. Yeah, it's called baggage, religious packages. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.